Good evening. This is your girl, Lady J. I just want to give all honor and all glory to the only one true God that I serve. Now, I don't know what God you serve, but I serve a mighty God. I serve a mighty God who is worthy of all the praise and all the glory. I don't celebrate him today because of what he's done. I celebrate and give him glory for who he is personally in my life. And I don't just celebrate God just on holidays, specifically Easter. But I'm in the midst of everything that God is. <laughs> Y'all understand, I have a relationship with God that is so beautiful. And it's not that I'm perfect because I'm so far from it. But man, my worship, my praise, just me just giving myself to him because I know that I can trust him. I could trust him. And knowing that if he brought me to it, he's going to bring me through it. So this coronavirus is nothing compared to my God. Amen. <laughs> but listen. I want to give you a scripture, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And it says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. I don't know where you at in your walk with God, but whatever you're going through, to draw you close to the will of God and plant your feet in a place where God can minister to your spirit. See, God knows how to move us. He knows how to move us. He'll allow things to happen in your life to move you closer to Him. So He can show you who He is. Because you're always trying to go to everybody else. Our mamas, our dads, our sisters. But God just wants you to himself. So he can show you who he is in your life. Amen. But I had to give you the scripture because. Part of being conformed to this world. Is being stressed out. Full of anxiety and full of fear. You know, this is, our faith is being tested. God wants to know, do you fully trust him? Amen? Do you fully trust him? All right? Now, let's go to Proverbs chapter 3. Verse 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And, need, and lean not. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him. Who's him? God. And he will make your pathway straight. Lean not to your own understanding. See? And be not conformed to this world. So you want to understand everything. You want to know what's going on and how everything is going to be and how everything is going to turn out. God has the world in his hand. And if he got the whole world in his hand, he definitely got you in his hand. In the palm of his hand. He knew that this was going to happen before you knew. But he gave you all the necessary tools. He gave you everything you need to prepare for this moment. And so, we need to get back to the place where we don't try to lean to own understanding. Because when we do that, 
with God why this is happening. God, how I'm going to pay this bill. And God, I don't know how I'm going to be able to survive. The word of God is your survival kit. He's given us everything we need to equip us for this moment. So maybe you need to get back into your word and begin to read so that his word may manifest in your spirit. And that you become strong again. Because I'm trying to tell you, God is about to show up and show off. He's already doing it. See, the only way you can really see that God is who he is in your life is when you look to him. When you trust him. When you don't be part of this world. For the world only know their own. See, when you know God, God personally for yourself, you're, you're in a spirit world. A place where you are at peace. The Bible says, whatever you find yourself, you should be able to be what? Content. In other words, no matter how much hell is going on around you, the world will run and flee, but you can stand. Why? Because you trust God. No matter what comes your way, no matter what's going on around you, you trust God. See, the world is panicking. But if you really trust God and knowing that who he is in your life, then you can plant your feet, plant your feet on trust, on faith, belief, and knowing that he got you. Because God got you. But do you know that he got you? See, he can pray for you all day. Well, I'm going to pray that God gives you faith. No, no, no. You have to believe that he's God in your life for yourself. See, this relationship with God is individual. You know, even my kids know that. Listen, their, their, their relationship with God is, 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 is individual. It, it, it's, even though they may have come to know God through me by going to church, when I did go to church, but they have their own individual relationship with God outside of me being a mother. And I taught them that. Now, they know I'm a praying warrior. They know that I know how to get God's attention. And so they come to me when they need to, but they know who God is for themselves. And so this be a good time to get your house in order just be a good time to, 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 to talk to your kids about what's going on, not leaving them in the dark, but bring them to the light. Let them know what's going on with, with this coronavirus. Let them know about the 5G. Let them know. Our kids, you think they're, oh, they're too young. They'd be okay. No, let them know because you want your household to be one unit. See, this is not the time to have division. This is a time that we come together as one. See, me and my kids, we talk about the things that we need to start doing. Eating more healthier. Making sure we get our vitamins and our minerals. Making sure that we wear our masks. Make sure that we follow the protocol to keep ourselves healthy. Especially because my son, y'all know he has um, stage 5 kidney failure. So we have to make sure that he stay healthy. So at the end of the day, you guys have to protect your home. And you got to let your children know that when they go outside your house, they need to be protected. Don't hang around a whole lot of friends. Keep your distance. And when you come home, immediately wash your hands. Okay? We have to let them know the importance of doing what is right. Because if not, they'll come and bring them germs home to your house. We got to hold young people accountable and let them know the dangerous, the life has been taken from this, what we call plague, that is man-made. We know it's man-made. And we've been used as a, an experiment to see what happens when they let this, this, this killing disease loose. This was done intentional. 
But we can talk about this all day, but we need to talk about what can we do now to prevent further lives taken, to prevent anything else that may um, harm or hurt our family and our community. We need to start putting some things into motion. What is that we can do? We need to play our part. Okay? We know that the people that we looked up to, that we thought that they had our back and, th and thought that they cared about us, yes, the President of the United States, he does not care about us. We have to care about us. And part of us caring about us is that we all have to come together collectively as one unit operating under, under the grace of God so that we all, we all can put pressure on all those that's above us, wealthy people that, that all came together and made this disease. Yes, them. We can put pressure on them. You know, they have got us divided. They have taken our freedom. And uh, they have got us as slaves. But we're stuck in our houses. We're going to leave um, if we have to go out. Um, so we have to figure out what we need to do as a people. This is not a color thing. This is a people thing. Now, I'm doing my part. I'm educating myself and my children about this 5G tower and about this coronavirus. Where it started, where it came from, who done it, so that we have an idea of what we need to do to stop further spread. So we got to do our part. And if I have to be a voice for my community, I'm not afraid. So we have to start coming together. It might be divided where we can't touch each other, but there is still other ways. This internet, this Facebook, Instagram, all these places allow us to still communicate with one another. That we can still pull together and put pressure all all, all them po um, political people that control us like puppets that we can now put pressure on them to do what is right for the people for our nation okay all right so this is my thought for today is that we can rejoice and we can enjoy our day today but don't just stop here. This is Resurrection Day. Okay? And if God can resurrect anything. So we have to keep in mind that we serve a resurrection God who can raise the dead, heal the sick, deliver the poor. Come on now. I know I'm saying something good. <laughs> So we have to remember who we are and who we serve. Do not be part of this world where you allow fear to come in and full of anxiety and stress. All these things are spirits that linger on you. They attack your mind. They attack your body. This is how you get sick. You think coronavirus is bad. Stress will kill you. So we have to be cautious and be careful to how we think. And what we allow into our, 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 our thinking process. We have to know how the Bible says meditate day and night. We have to learn how to meditate. Seek the face of God. And turn from wrong thinking. And stay positive. Because something great is coming out of this. Believe it or not. Something beautiful is coming out of this. God is about to blow your mind. But you must get into a place. Where you trust God, you're going to try to figure everything out, and you live. You live. And you live one day at a time, and you rejoice in God, knowing that he gave you another day that you can see your family and your friends. And although you cannot you know, be with your, your, your family like you normally do, this is the opportunity that you can FaceTime them, FaceTime them, tell them how much you love them how much you miss them, and that you soon connect together again. But until then, you got to enjoy the journey. It's rough. It's very rough. But you can make it. You can make it. 
You can make it. Don't give up and throw in the towel now. You can make it. You just got to look at this thing as being temporarily and is working for your good because the Bible declares that all things work together for the good of them who love God. Do you love him? It's working for your good. So don't look at this as, oh my God, this is happening. This is that happening. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not, I don't know I'm going to do that. I got this going on. My kids acting crazy. My husband acting crazy. My man doing this. No, it's an opportunity that you begin to build a strong bond with your family. It's an opportunity for you to manifest your dreams, your purpose. This is birthing season where you're about to give birth. You're about to give birth to purpose, to destiny. Something great is about to happen in your life. And you're going to miss it because you're stuck on what you're going through. You're allowing the news and um, the, uh, the, yeah, the news broadcast. You're allowing the things you see on Facebook to get to you. Listen, when that stuff comes on, to, on, on the news and you're tired of listening to it, turn it. If it's bothering you that bad, turn it. You have the power to turn it. You have the power to turn the TV and to turn your thoughts. So today, that we're giving God glory, thank him that you allowed, that he allowed you to see this day. Okay? Lady J loves you. I mean, I love y'all. I love coming on here and really motivating you because you're not going through, you're not in this boat by yourself. This boat is rocky and yes, it's like this, this strong wave is pushing us in ways that we don't want to go. But man, God knows how to calm the storm. See how I just changed my thought just like that? God knows how to calm the storm. So do you believe him on today? Well, I'm trying to tell you, you better get your thoughts together. Because you're going to miss what he's about to demonstrate in your life. Because you're choosing not to change your mindset. Okay, so look at this as an opportunity. Look at this, what you're going through as an opportunity of growth. Of learning. Purpose. You know what I'm saying? Some of us want to be big time motivational speakers. Some of us want to be big time lawyers or whatever. This is getting you ready for that moment. That moment where God put you on the spotlight. He let the world see who he's been hiding all these years. And now is your time. Okay? So let your light so shine. Lady J loves you. And you know God does too. But until next time, remember, nothing happens to you happen. I got to get ready to take my son to the hospital. He had, got a lot of flu, fluid going on in his body, causing a lot of pain. So I hate to take him to the hospital, but he needs to go where they can properly take care of him and get this fluid off of him so that he can um, enjoy every day without pain. So continue to pray for me as I pray for you. And um, until we meet again, smile. That smile can change not only your life, but somebody else's. All right? Love you and peace.